Would you know what to do if someone knocked at the door while you were home alone playing? Or if a stranger offered you a ride while you were playing outside? Take two steps back. Two steps back. Hi, this is Janet Davies. The Care Bears know what to do, and they'll be here to teach you how to be a great kid and a safe kid. Stop and think. It's the Care Bears in Be a Safe Kid, next on Channel 7. It's a program you won't want to miss. Right, Cheer Bear? us today. They've come all the way from Carolot land because they do care a lot about you and your safety. Cheer Bear and Sunshine Bear and Tenderheart Bear are going to show you how to be a safe kid. Come on. Be a great kid. Be a great kid. Be a safe kid. Be a safe kid. Be a great kid. Be a safe kid. It's the Care Bears in Be a Safe Kid with Janet Davies. Everybody knows you shouldn't talk to strangers, right? Right. And sometimes strangers aren't very nice people, right? Right. Okay, the problem is, how do you tell if a stranger is a good person or a bad person? Well, today, the Care Bears are going to give us some kid tips on how we can be a safe kid. Now, for example, I'm going to give you a for example. Let's say you're playing hopscotch on your neighborhood street. And a car pulls up next to you. And it's someone you don't know. Take a look at this person. Why is he stopping to talk to you? He doesn't know you. What do you do? Funshine Bear says when a car pulls up, the first thing to do is take two steps back. Stop and think. Stop and think. Don't ever get into a car with a stranger. Say no. Say no to anyone who wants to give you a ride in a car or offers you candy or a gift to go along with them. Go and tell someone. And then quickly, go and tell someone. No one has the right to take you anywhere without your okay. Have you ever had anybody come up to you and try to get you into a car or try to take you somewhere? How would you, re what would you do? I would kind of like act like he wasn't wasn't there. Ah. And run away. Siri, what would you do? If he came up to me and grabbed me, I'd probably yell fire, because that um attracts more attention than than yelling help. Very interesting. Did you hear what Sari said? She yeah. would yell fire. It's not a bad thing to scream and yell. Remember, if you go up to the car. And he asks you to get in. Take two steps back, about the length of your arm. Let's see your arm. Take about that many steps back. Don't hold your arm out, though. The man can grab it. When a car pulls up next to you, and it's someone you don't know. Take two steps back. Two Close your eyes again. I've got another, another scene here. Everybody think of this. Sometimes a stranger or a bad person might ask for your help. And we do want to help people, but you have to be careful. Let's say you're by yourself playing ball in the park when a man comes up to you. Excuse me, little girl. I've lost my dog. 
Can you help me find him? You lost your doggy? Oh, gee, that's too bad, mister. Cheer Bear says, I really wish that man hadn't lost his dog, because I like dogs, too. But... Stop and think. Stop and think. Grown-ups do not come to children for help. Grown-ups ask grown-ups for help. Say no! Say no! He'll have to find someone else to help him. Sorry, Mr. No! Go and tell someone! And then, quickly, go and tell someone what just happened to you. Grown-ups shouldn't have to ask kids for help or favors. They shouldn't ask you where you live or if they can take your picture. Remember, kids have rights too. And one thing you have the right to do is to say no. It's okay to say no. A stranger's always bad. Now, a policeman could be a stranger. Is he a bad person? No. Some policemen are bad. How about the, the grocery man? Is he a nice person? Yes. He could be. Why, Michael Ann? Because sometimes they just dress like a... Ah, remember, sometimes people dress as people that we know and respect. They dress up, the bad people. They can dress up like a policeman, like a teacher, like a doctor, like a mailman. How do you tell if they're not nice? What do they do? Sari? They do strange things. If a person comes up to you, a stranger, on the street, okay. in a car, at your door, you don't have to talk to him. All you have to do because this person is a stranger and your mom and dad have not given you permission to talk to this person you say three things to yourself and do them and the first is stop and think say no go and tell someone stop and think say no go and tell someone now here's another situation what do you do if someone comes to your front door and you're home all alone? Your mom and dad didn't say anyone was coming over to visit. Who is it? Delivery man, I have a package for you. Tenderheart says, Stop and think. A lot of people are our friends, but it's hard to tell who's a good person and who isn't. Bad people are not always mean-looking or ugly. Stop and think. Say no! If mom's not home, don't let anyone in your house, even if it's someone you know. Say no! Leave the package on the steps. I can't open the door. And what's the next thing you should do? Go and tell someone! Go and tell someone. And if there's no one at home to tell, Make a phone call. Hi, Mom. A man was just here to deliver a package, and I didn't let him in. Okay, bye. Hey, Tenderheart, want to watch TV? You're at home. Your mom, your dad, your brothers and your sisters are all gone. You're by yourself and you're watching TV. And the doorbell rings. Ding dong. And you go to the door and you open the door. And there's a person outside, a stranger, a lady you've never seen. Should you have opened the door? No. no. You should look out the window. That's, That's right. That's what I or, or look out the window. Or look out the window or look out the peephole. I would look out the window. But see, we live in an apartment, so I have to get a, a chair to reach up and look through the hole. And if it's somebody that I don't know, then I would let them in. Very good. We Never know. let a stranger in your house. How about a good friend? Yeah. Oh. And but, if your, oh. your mom said, it's like, I have a good friend, her name's Heather, and my mom, like, can go down to the laundry, and she says, hey, um, if Heather comes to the door and she beats, 
own letter in and then just stay here and watch TV until I come back. But your mother has arranged that, right? Your mother has said it's okay. Yeah. You should not let anybody in the house unless your mother says it's okay. A knock on the door when you're alone. What do you do? Stop and think. Say no. Go and tell someone. Stop and think. Say no. Go and tell someone. This next story is a real scary one. You're walking home from school one day when a woman you don't know runs up to you. Come with me, come with me right away. Your mommy's been in an accident and I'm going to take you to the hospital. Tenderheart says, Stop and think. Stop and think. Don't let this person scare you. This woman may be telling the truth or she may be lying. Do you know who she is? Did she know your name? Say no. Say no. You won't go with her. No, I won't go with you. I want to go home and find out if my mommy's okay myself. Go and tell someone. That was a close one. That was scary. It's hard to stop and think when someone is frightening you, telling you scary things. But remember, it's okay to say no. Kids have the right to say no when a stranger is asking them to do something they don't want to do. This woman says, hi, says, my name is Mrs. So-and-so. Your mother has been in a bad accident. Come with me. Well, what do you do? Do you go with her? You don't know her. Why not? Your mother could be in an accident. Because she may be lying. You can't trust strangers. Nicole? If a stranger comes up to you and asks them that they know your mother and father, you should ask them where do they where do your mother and father work? And if they don't no, know no the right the right place that your mother and father works, then you know that it's a stranger. Do you find it hard to say no to a grown up because you're a kid? Yes. You do? Why, Sky? I don't. You don't? You can say no to a grown-up? Yes, I know. Just I say know. no. This is weird. That's no problem? You can yeah, say no. I know. I know. No. Okay. I know. What, Nikki? No. Don't let a person buy your no. house. No. This one away. Don't let a person buy your house. Just run away. You don't let a person in your house either. And don't, and don't let a person let take from your drawers. You don't want to let a person do anything you don't know about, right? And what? What? Don't let um, a stranger take from your makeup. Oh, well, that's a good one, too. You sit down, Nikki. If a man comes up to you on the street, in a car, rings your doorbell, the first thing you do is... Next, we're going to talk about touching and what good touches and bad touches are all about. We'll be back with more Be a Safe Kid after these messages. And now we return to Be a Safe Kid. Hi kids, welcome back to Be a Safe Kid, and now we would like you to meet someone very special. My name is Ray Buckner. I'm a deputy sheriff, so you can call me Deputy Ray. Deputy Ray. All right. Deputy Ray. Very good. Ray. Now, who can tell me, who can tell me, what is a touch? Somebody goes like this. Okay. When you're feeling something. When you're feeling something. Okay. What do we use to touch things with? Um, our hands. Our hands. Our hands. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Now watch. I'm going to do something real neat. Watch. Okay. I can take my elbow. You know what elbow is, right? Watch. 
I can touch my thigh with my elbow, right? Plus, plus, watch this here. This is really neat. I really like doing this here. I can take my shoulder and I can touch my ear. So we can use all parts of the body to touch with, right? Did you know that touches have names just like we have names? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Right. Is a hug a touch? Sure, it's a touch. A hug is a touch, right? Mm -hmm. Who can name me another touch? Um, what kind of touch was that just then? <laughs> what kind of touch are they doing now? A chuckle. Is a chuckle a touch? No, yeah. yeah. Is it a touch that is it is it a touch that's okay or not okay? You think a chuckle is okay? What if somebody took you for a long, long time and won't stop? <laughs> then it's not okay, is it? Okay, it's a kiss. Now, is a kiss a touch? Yeah, no. Huh? Who say no? Is a kiss a touch? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, you two, Randy, Sarah. Okay, listen. Listen up, kids. Listen up. Now, is a kiss okay touch or a touch that's not okay? Okay. What if, what if you have to kiss somebody that you don't want to kiss? It's not okay. How can we tell if a touch is okay or not okay? What do you think, Randy? Feel it. By the way, it feels sometimes. Yeah. How else can we tell? If it's not okay, then it's like feels good. It's an okay touch. Maybe, right? I want you to listen very carefully to me now because I'm going to tell you something that will help you to determine whether a touch is okay or not okay. One of the things you want to know is who touched you, okay? Then, where? Um. And then, what do you think is next? Who touched you, where did they touch you, and what do you think is next? When did they touch you? When is important, too. And there's some, another one. Who can think of another one? Okay, we where said, who? They touch you. Where they touch you, who touched you, when and they touched you, touch and you. how they touch you, and what else is important? And who, and where they touch you, and, and when they why and why they touched you right who do you think your body belong to you. me you're right yeah. rich what about you can i have your head no yeah. randy said i can have your head yeah. what about you kenny can i have your head no what about you nicole can i have your head no why not because that head belongs to me it's on my body <laughs> very good your body belongs to you and you kids have a right, even though a person may be bigger than you or maybe even older than you, you have a right to tell them, no, if they want to touch you and they touch you in a way that you don't like, you can tell them what? No. I want to hear you say no like you really, really mean it, okay? No! Ooh. No! Yes, ma'am. Kenny. Yes. No! All right. Did I get you, Linda? Now, that's the way you have to say no to a person that want to touch you in a way that you don't want them to touch you. Because your body belongs to who? Me! And you have a right to tell them. No! Stop and think. Say no. Stop and think. Say no. Don't tell someone. Stop and think. Be a great kid. Be a great kid. Be a star kid. Be a star kid. We'll be back with more Be a Safe Kid after these messages. And now we return to Be a Safe Kid. Now kids, before the Care Bears go back to Carolot land, they do have a few more tips for you. It's their Be a Safe Kid checklist. And if you do follow it, you will grow up to be a safe kid, right? Yeah! yeah! Hi, Mom. Can I go over to Billy's? I'll be home at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye. Always tell your parents where you're going and when you'll be home. If anything unusual happens, tell them. 
Keep a list of the numbers you need most often right next to the telephone, like mom and dad's, your neighbors, and your friends. Know your phone number and address. That way you can always reach home in an emergency. Do you know your phone number? Hi, Mom. I have a little problem. Don't take shortcuts or walk down empty streets. Stick to the main streets around your house. And whenever possible, use the buddy system. Walk with a good friend. No! When you think you're in trouble, scream for help and run away. Stop, think, say no, run and tell someone. Finally, in the case of an emergency, work out a code word with your parents. A word that only you and your parents know. This way you can always test a person who wants you to go with them. Hi, Christina. Your mommy's delayed. She told me to pick you up today. You ready to go? I can't go with you unless you know my code word. Well, your code word is balloon. Yes, that is. Ready? Okay. Stop. Please. Say no. This special program of community interest has been brought to you by Marshalls, brand names for less. By now, I'm sure all of you and all of you out there know the three things that every safe kid knows. Stop and think, say no, go and tell someone. Thanks for joining us. And now, here's a big Care Bear goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.